hi friends uh, till now I have given videos up to floor plan now in this video uh, I will try to uh, tell you how to do CTS its optimization and uh, how we can play with clock tree and uh, like uh, how we can play with clock tree to have balance queue and uh, minimum insertion delay so like uh, okay so uh, in this screen uh, you can see that uh, my cells have placed already so before starting CTS uh, we should know what should be the goals so our goal is to optimize for timing congestion then balance the skew minimize the insertion delay and correct the logical DRCs so before going to CTS stage uh, we have to do some pre sanity checks to estimate uh, like congestion uh, to means to estimate congestion we can do report congestion then I will show you in the later part of my uh, tutorial so mm, like uh, to estimate logical DRC again we can do report QR so and uh, for any hierarchical pin we can go for check design options so these things are there and uh, uh, I will tell you where to check uh, DRC means sorry skew and uh, uh, insertion delays I will uh, tell you in my later part of the video so what are the inputs to CTS stage so these are nothing but a very log file your SDC file then your placement file leap file for cadence leap file for cadence then TF for synopsis TLU plus for synopsis and clock spec file so now I will show you how S to do CTS the procedure from CC opt uh, from CC opt so we will generate clock tree spec file from SDC file only so this is the procedure how to do CTS so this is the command create CC opt clock tree spec then uh, any spec file that you, you want to generate CC opt underscore new then uh, we will source this CC opt file so before starting before uh, doing uh, CTS, CTS I would like to show you how spec file look like so I will be opening the spec file so uh, this is the spec file so these things uh, we have generated from uh, SDC file so other than these parameters we can give some other things uh, we can uh, add like clock exceptions logic so the things that uh, we need to uh, give from our side is clock exceptions that are the stop pins fix pins and uh, exclude pins so you check in check it in the theory part then uh, NDRs we can give like uh, for double width then uh, make for double spacing because when uh, because clock is that uh, element in your design that will reach to every every element right or in every flop of your design so uh, so as it is highly switching so we can give and we can provide NDR so that switching so that uh, power consumption and crosstalk will be less so these things we can do by using NDRs I will show you in my video next uh, in my later part then uh, then logical DRC is then maximum transition maximum capaci capacitance maximum fan out these things sh should not get violated the by adding some buffers and all some more techniques are there then clock tree options like target skew transition time fan out then buffer level so buffer level also important like uh, how many buffer levels you are adding in your design it will again decide again make some impact on your skew also as I have already told you that uh, NDRs are nothing but uh, non-default rule that is uh, non-default means it consists of double white or triple white metals and uh, at least uh, means double white spacing by why we do to consider the crosstalk and the DR uh, and uh, we always uh, keep it we always uh, take care of DRC rules when we do this NDR and uh, there and I will uh, I will show you in the tool how to do NDRs and uh, how to do <coughs> um, how to uh, means add other parameters like uh, logical DRCs buffer levels and uh, where we have to check uh, clock tree skews latencies insertion delays in the reports I will show you in the uh, video you in the screen you can check like see add NDR by command add NDR we can uh, do 
NDRs and uh, in GUI also there are some option uh, in which if I get time I will show you yes. so again one thing see set up mode that is useful skew true that is uh, use the study use what is useful skew so like when we use positive positive skew then uh, like it would be helpful for setup and when when we use negative skew then it would be helpful for hold so that depends upon your design and so your design requirement so and these three are nothing but the logical drc's like a maximum transition we take uh, 5 to 10 percent of 5 to 10 percent of the clock then uh, maximum fan out uh, we get it from library leaf file and the maximum capacitance we ge get it from leaf file so these things we get from leaf file so these are nothing but called logical drc's and uh, this exclude play pin stop pin so these things are nothing but the clock exceptions that you st uh, study in the theory because i won't get much time to tell you in detail about this thing so th these are nothing but these pins uh, is important in respect to timing analysis of critical path and other false path so you can check it there so next uh, one more thing like uh, i'm writing it you can add a buffer and uh, inverters also and depending upon the design requirement so if if you're not adding any buffer or inverter in your uh, in your spec file then uh, tool will take the tool will take automatically and uh, tool is smart enough to tool is smart enough to take the um, to means uh, take the correct uh, optimized buffers or inverters and it will be taking from your leaf file So uh, normally we uh, normally we, uh, dev we build the clock tree with buffers and uh, we balance the clock tree with inverters. So a number of buffer levels are important because uh, the more buffer the levels we because we use buffer levels to bal balance the skew. So it depends how many buffer levels you needed for your you mm, to maintain the to balance the skew that depends totally upon your design so it is uh, what I do is I, I do trial and error by taking number of buffer levels different buffer levels sometimes it may be get s satisfied by three buffer levels sometimes it may be get by four buffer levels so depending upon your design stages now I am going to source the CTS uh, spec file sorry one second yes so I have sourced it and now I will do the super command ccopt underscore design that is the super command so this will make your clock tree from uh, spec file and uh, we can uh, we have different options also with ccopt underscore spec if you want to optimize it with respect to timing with respect to area so these things you, you can give if so see uh, what are the things that we need to check after CTS is congestion so I have checked report congestion so this is report congestion so it is fine then uh, I'm checking report timing so first of all I will check for setup so before that I mean setup is by default so there is no issue check type setup so we can check it the we can check the slack so it is coming positive 12.12 so not an issue so we can proceed with our setup this setup then next uh, before checking hold we have to uh, set the analysis mode to hold so set analysis mode underscore analysis type check type sorry not analysis type check type hold 
so now I will now I will check for hold uh, hold so see uh, this is coming negative right why it is coming negative because data part still not routed the, 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 the data part that is uh, that, 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 that is already routed is each of virtual routing then there is no detailed routing yet till now so once we will do routing this whole violation get uh, overcome so and uh, we can and we can improve the whole slack by doing post cts optimization also that i will show you in my later next part of my video so till now i have show you, shown you how to check for setup slack and whole slack so these are the checks the next uh, again uh, you have to be you have to check for power also then report power see uh, almost after every step you have to you have to check for these three things congestion timing and power so in power internal power switching power leakage power is there so this power specifications you get it from report power command so once uh, you get report power then you have to check for report constraint all violators this will tell you if any drvs are violating so you can check no violations found that means our uh, our uh, constraints are meeting that's why it is not violating so check type minimum transition minimum capacitance and minimum fan out is meeting okay see this is the clock tree and uh, this is the this, these are the flip flops and uh, if you if you click on any flip flop then it will show you which flip flop it is and how much in from how much distance these flops are there from this clock so this is the clock tree you, you can see in the uh, screen so this is the clock tree that we have generated and i will show you the optimization uh, in the in my next videos so how to do s optimization for clock tree so see next next you next you try to report ccopt underscore skew underscore group that will tell you uh, the insertion insertion delay that will tell you the insertion delay and uh, uh, and uh, like uh, which uh, maximum delay minimum delay for every skew group it will tell you the insertion delay then uh, target skew and the skew it will tell you all the details of skew and latency it will in the skew group so this is very important command skew group command cc of underscore skew group so you, uh, means don't forget to check this because from this only you will you will come to know whether your insertion delays has been reduced or not so this is the imp this is one one of the important command then um, i will uh, in my next video i will show you how to do post cts uh, optimization and uh, how to do it in a gui how to check the thing set up and hold in the gui through histogram and all till now thank you and uh, please like share and subscribe my video